Hey everyone, today's video is about when you are insecure. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. I always try to do my best, did everything I could so that others would see what an amazing person I was. I wanted others to know that I was someone they could depend on, look up to, that I was enough. Now all I see is a failure. How can anybody love a failure? Everything I did never seemed to be enough. You're so irresponsible. Ah, here we go again. Can you do anything right? Listening to the loud lectures, you tried whatever you could to mentally remove you from the yells being spat at you. Why can't you try to be more like their daughter? She's everything wanted in a daughter. Plugging in your headphones, you found a song to play while you distracted yourself. With each press, you put on the volume button. Their voices began to fade. They're right. You're just a hopeless girl. Thankfully, you could relax a little more at school. School went out for the day, and the three of you had met up at the gates to walk home together. Funny conversations and stories always came up, causing you to laugh your insecurities away. Oh, it's the time for you to figure out all of your problems. You lit up at one of their stories before starting one of your own. Oh, hey, that reminds me of that one time I ate all the ice cream and they had to... We've told us that one already. They stayed it as they stared at you, causing you to settle back down a little embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> um, my memory is really bad. You glanced around awkwardly before they turned back and started walking off. Your smile fell, and you felt your insecurities flow back into you, filling your brain. I'm so annoying. I should just stop talking. Katsuki! You exclaimed as you wrapped your arms around your boyfriend, hugging his back as he let out a yell from your sudden affection. What was that for? He asked with slightly red ears as he turned around in your arms. Your smile widened as you met his gaze. I've been training really hard for today's hair test. I really feel like I'm going to do good today. I really do think I will. You say cheekily as you squeeze his waist tighter from your excitement. Bago tried prying your arms away to make space, and when he did succeed, he gave you a smirk. Well, we'll have to see what the results are then. He smiled and nodded from his words, his way of wishing you a good luck. You worked your hardest during the test and felt good, felt accomplished. All of your training and hard work didn't go down the drain. You were going to prove everyone that you were just as strong as they were, that you belong in the hero course as well. Holding the results in your hands, you looked up at Izawa. I failed? Your hands shook and your grip on the papers was tight enough to wrap through them. As he looked up at him, this bright. But I trained so hard. I know I did good, but why? As I sighed at you, placing a gentle hand on your shoulder before prying the papers from your hands. I'm sorry, Wyan, but that's what the results are. There will be an update on when the next open day is for this test. I will let you know. As I saw up the classroom, you stood alone in the silence. I managed to fail this too? How embarrassing. Cold thoughts ran through your head as your anxiety and your insecurities crawled up your shoulders. How will I tell Baco? What will his response be? Maybe he'll laugh at me for being so weak? No, Baco's not like that anymore. Just tell him. He won't laugh. As you made your way around to find Baco, you found him surrounded by some friends. Did you pass, Baco? Kirishima asked. Bahu scoffed. Of course I did. It was easy. Whoever failed is weak. Your eyes widened, and you stepped back slightly, away from the view. You're amazing, Bahu The female students complimented with a flirty tone. Stepping back from the corner, you clutched your skirt tightly as you began to walk away. How were you supposed to approach Bahu now, knowing that you were just going to make yourself feel worse? I'm a failure. I'll never get anything done right. Even Katsuki thinks I'm weak. How can he be with someone so pathetic? Nothing I do well. Hey, Wyan, what the fuck? I've called out your name like a million times. 
Baku scowled as he placed a hand on your shoulder. Turning you around, blinking back into reality, you look around at your surroundings before your eyes focus on Bagos. You were suddenly on the streets, walking home from school. You've been acting weird all day. Bagos states, narrowing his eyes at you. Did you feel? You shut up and your face flushed, eyes glancing everything but Bago. I, um, I was gonna tell you, but... You sat in defeat. Yeah, I failed. Lowering your head, you covered your face with your hands. Why didn't you just tell me? It's not like I'd get pissed off if you failed or not. He says, trying to console you. Yeah, I know, but... Your eyes look up at him sadly. He said, people who fail are weak and I get scared to tell you. Tears began forming in your eyes. And soon, spilled over your cheeks, causing Bago to get flustered over your crying state. Hey, don't cry. Shit. One, it wasn't directed towards you. He tries again, but you shake your head. It's not just that. I just feel bad. You confess, trying to figure out the correct words. Let's talk at my house. He says, pulling you along. Once the two of you made it to his room, he shut the door behind him as he sat on his bed, sniffling away. Grabbing his blanket, Baku wrapped it around you like a scarf. Before moving back, to stand in front of you, waiting for you to speak. Over time, he's learned that to enjoy wrapping his blanket around your body. Nothing's been going right for me. Nobody cares about me, and I just don't feel good enough for anybody. You sigh, dejected, and Bago frowns at your words. Why are you trying to please people anyway? They don't control your life. Yeah, but just knowing that I actually mean something to someone means a lot to me. Knowing that people are actually happy with me makes me feel better about myself. I'm such a trash and I... Hey, hey, cut that bullshit out. Bago has called you and you snivel up to him. Reaching out, Bago grabs your cheeks, squishing them between his hands as he brings his face close. I don't want to hear that, especially coming from you. Looking up at him, confused, Bago frowns, pinching your cheeks before letting you go. You don't know it, but people love you. You've managed to stick with me and my shitty attitude for so long. You're more than you think. Rubbing your sore cheeks, you glance down at the floor, listening to Bago. It was nice to hear his words. But your insecurity is still lingering around. I don't know. It's easy to say things like that. You reply, playing with a blanket around you. How can I believe that? Silence filled the room before Bago opened his arms to you. Standing up, you walk into his arms before he turns around and falls against the bed with you on his chest. It's up to you, but I think you're pretty great. You're worth more than anything. He whispers and you blush. Hearing those words from Bago, you really think so? Don't make me repeat myself. With a sigh, you felt better for the first time in what seemed like forever. Smiling, you snuggled deeper into Bago. Thanks, Katsugi. It means a lot to me. I mean, something to someone. Bago never replied, but the way he rubbed your back in a comforting manner spoke more to you than anything. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please never forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.